All right, welcome back to SoFlo TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most madness. If you've never been here before, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and then hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time a new video goes up on SoFlo TV. So, acting as his own lawyer, a double murder defendant opened his death penalty trial by shouting at the juror. All the jurors looked like they had, they were scared. So he opens up, this is his opening argument, that he did not attack his girlfriend and his disabled daughter. Now, he's cross-examined his son, forcing the 11-year-old to describe exactly how he hurt him. Brothers in court, being his own, you heard his his uh charge, right? This is serious, serious stuff. This is domestic abuse. When I look at him, I think here's a domestic abuser who finally got caught, and now he is basically trying to plead insanity. You crazy? If you look at the video and you look at the face of the judge as he opened up his case. His starting argument, you will realize that he going to prison. You go, <laughs> you going to prison. You're not going to jail, sir. You are going to prison. Okay, do not rest. Just go. All right. Ronnie O'Neill the third is his name. Damn, Ronnie come from a long line of Ronnie O'Neills. He is Ronnie O'Neill the. It's eat good TV, y'all. If you like Jamaican food but you're struggling to cook it the right way then here's a channel that gives it to you step by step. You are guaranteed to be able to cook Jamaican food like a real Jamaican from this channel called Eat Good TV. Go over to Eat Good TV, hit that subscribe button and try cooking one of those meals. She is real calm about how she does her stuff and she makes sure that you get all the ingredients right. Eat Good TV. Hit that subscribe button over there and tell them SoFlo TV sent you. I've cooked a couple of meals off of Eat Good TV. Not because I can't cook Jamaican food because I am a Jamaican myself, but because sometimes I like to see something that I like cooked a different way. So I'm about to tell the lady that she can't cook because that is not how you cook it. We all cook it different way. Just go to Eat Good TV, hit that subscribe button and tell her I sent you. Third, I wonder if the first and the second one were crazy as well. So Ronnie O'Neill claimed in a dramatic opening statement that the evidence will reveal some of the most vicious, lying, fabricating, fictitious government you ever seen. By the time it's all said and done, you will see I think this brother thought he was a preacher or maybe he's on some Malcolm X stuff. Lying, fabricating, fictitious. He was gesturing and he was pacing. O'Neill shouted at one point during the Monday morning opening. I look alone. This is what he said to the, he said, I look alone, but I am backed by a mighty God. 
I really think this brother thought he was <laughs> preaching a ceremony. Okay. Now I see a lot of people that saying, "Yep, I knew it was Florida." As soon as I saw the headlines, Florida should be its own country. Man, listen, Florida is always with the foolishness. Okay. So Ronnie claimed that the girlfriend, his girlfriend, who was Kenyatta Barron attacked their two children and that he killed her in self-defense so make no mistake about it she is dead okay he this is his defense in court now he is now telling the courts that they got it wrong he did kill her but he killed her in self-defense because she was attacking the children attacking as in stabbing cutting the children the killings happened on march 18th of 2018 in their home in Tampa in Florida now assistant state attorney Scott Harmon countered that prosecutors would prove that O'Neill wounded Barron with a shotgun then beat her to death Harmon also said O'Neill used a hatchet to kill his nine-year-old daughter who had cerebral palsy and could not speak she was nonverbal and he also wounded his son who was 18 year old who was eight years old two years ago because this happened in 8 2018 right so 19 2021 so we're talking about three years ago the kid was eight years old he stabbed his son he was trying to kill his son as well killed the mother killed his daughter who had cerebral palsy and now he ran after the son and stabbed the son the son was eight. Today, the son is about 11 years old and the son stood up in court as his dad who tried to kill him cross-examined him. Can, can you imagine that? That kid must have been terrified to witness you kill his mom, then kill his sister who had cerebral palsy and was nonverbal, and then come after him. And then today, this child has to stand there in court or sit there in that box while you pretend that you are Johnny Cochran and cross-examine him. Crazy. But that's America for you. Even those who are blatantly guilty should have their day in court and let the law run its course. That's what it said, right? That's wicked, man, especially the part where it says he killed the little girl that had cerebral palsy and she was nonverbal. I could understand you getting an argument with your wife or your girlfriend or your baby mama, and she drove you to the point where it became like that, and you took that anger out on that woman because you had beef with her. But to go ahead and flip the switch and just kill everybody in the house, or attempted to anyways, his son survived, what frame of mind was he in? Was he on drugs? But today he is saying that that's not how it went. She was the one that was attacking the kids. He killed her in self-defense, defending the children, and possibly defending himself as well. Investigators say that O'Neill also went ahead and set the house on fire after the attacks. The son survived and testified in court Wednesday by remote video that he saw his daddy kill his sister with a hatchet and recall his mother being shot this is what the little boy described in court now during cross-examination o'neill asked his son this gets weird during cross-examination this crazy man asked his son did i hurt you that night yes or no did I hurt you that night? The little boy responded and said, yes. O'Neill, crazy self says, how did I hurt you? Describe for the jury how I hurt you. The little boy said, you stabbed me. His son replied, you stabbed me. He also went ahead and described how his father set the house on fire using gasoline. So while he was laying there, probably pretending to be dead, looking at his dead mama and his dead sister, he was watching his father sprinkle gasoline all over the house 
set the house on fire. Investigators said that the wounded boy came out of the burning house after his crazy daddy left. And he described exactly what happened then at the scene. The first words that came out of that little brave boy's mouth was, my daddy killed my mommy, is what he said when first responders showed up to the scene. So little man's been sticking to the story since day one. Drewers also heard a 911 call from Baron in which he desperately sought help. As O'Neill, she was seeking help as O'Neill was yelling in the background. So check it. She was already calling and her plea man was so desperate. She was already on 911. 911 was on the phone and they could hear him. Crazy man who is now defending himself. They could hear him in the background. Couples argument going on. He's in the background. Bitch, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to kill you today. All that. You can hear her in the 911 call saying, Ronnie, okay, Ronnie, okay, Ronnie, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is what she was saying in the recording. I'm so sorry, Ronnie. I'm reading this transcript to you right now, my SoFlo TV audience. She was on the 911 call, him in the background saying, Bitch, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to motherfucking kill you today. She is saying, okay, Ronnie, 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 I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Help me. Help me, Ronnie. I can't move my arm. My arm is shot up. I can't move it. O'Neill, crazy self, said in court that investigators have fabricated evidence to implicate him and that his son was coached on what to say. That's his defense. The evidence is going to show that I love my children. He said, the evidence will not show you that my son witnessed me beat his mom to death, nor did the wit nor did he witness me shoot his mom. In fact, he didn't witness much at all. The trial is expected to last through the end of next week. O'Neill could get the death penalty if convicted. Listen, this brother is he is prime candidate for the death penalty okay prime cat he should be awarded the death penalty like a trophy he he did the race and he won that prize let's put it that way and this should be an example for all the other men out there or women beaters out there let it go man because someday it's going to get way out of control Okay, and then you will be standing here trying to defend yourself because you are going crazy to live with what you have done. A woman that gave you life again by giving children to you and you murdered her, then murdered the children, then set the house on fire. And now you're in court saying you are your own lawyer. The pressure. Of knowing that you are about to catch the death penalty hmm let justice be served leave your comments in the comment section below tell me what you think about this one it's so flow TV I'm out peace it all started in an empty hallway ask if I'm gonna ride I say away in a hallway I'm in that hallway right now Gotta get this shit the hard way Empty hallways Posted by the light on them dark days Ask me how long I'm gon' ride, I say always Alright everybody, so this video is called Hallways You can find him on YouTube Just type in T-Viral Or click the link in the description Or the link that's pinned in the comment section Go over to his YouTube channel We have 20 projects on the way that will all be green screen videos of different songs. So stay tuned. We're about to turn up on his YouTube channel. Get his views up. If this is not your genre of music, stay away from it. But if it is, go vibe out on t Viro's YouTube channel. Or just go feel the music. That's it. Alright, back.